The catcher. Homer. Oh, here's a, now a blast to left center. Way back there. On its way. Out of here. Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 25 of Stadium Spotlight. This is your show where we look at different and unique stadiums in the show. 22, and today we are at the Boston Braves Field, the 1929 edition of the stadium. And this stadium was created by Arc Mage Kimosh. I've covered a couple of his classic stadiums already, so if you haven't already, check them out in the description, or you can look up his online ID and check out all the other ones that I just haven't got to yet. If you enjoyed the series and you want more, please consider liking and subscribing. If you have your understanding you want me to look at, make sure to put your online ID and the name of the stadium in the comments below and I'll be sure to check it out. And just like the last Classic Stadium episodes, I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the real Classic Stadium and the recreation of it. So this stadium seats 24,000 people. Down the left field line is 353. To left center field is 387. And then down the right field line, it is 297. And like always, let's take a look at behind home plate. Here's a side by side comparison of behind home plate with the real and the recreation. So down each foul line we have a large section of seating. It's not two decks, but it gets steeper halfway up the section. Behind home plate is basically the same thing. One large section, but it gets steeper halfway up. And above home plate on the roof we have a press box or a suite. I don't know if they had suites back then, so I'm assuming this is a press box. And he went ahead and detailed the inside of the concourse. So there's a staircase heading up to the second deck. So down the rough line, this section seating kind of pokes in fair territory. It kind of just has to hook to reach the seats. But in right center field, we have this large section of seating with a out of town scoreboard on the top. I think the Cubs scoreboard looks pretty accurate to the one in the real Braves field. Some light fixtures on each side of the seats, and we have a wall surrounding the stadium. You'll see that in a second. And then in this open area, we have a staircase heading up to the section of seating in right center field and center field. Now, this one's well hit. Way back there, on its way and out of here. Grand slam. An absolutely majestic shot. So in center field, the batter's eye is basically covered up. It's the four panel screen, but we have a pretty tall wall to center and left field. And above the wall, we have a large section of seating with some advertisements on the top and a light fixture behind it. To left center field, we have another staircase heading up into the section of seating. This ball is hammered deep center field, way back there, on its way, out of here. That's what the fans came to see, is 32nd of the year, it's 9-5. And in left field, we have a large section of seats that basically covers the entire left field wall. And on the top, we have some advertisements and some light fixtures on each side as well. Here's a swing and a drive, left field, and he knew it. Another homer is 32nd of the year. It's 12. So that's pretty much it for the inside of the stadium. So let's go ahead and take a look at the outside of the stadium. So a couple things I want to point out for the outside of the stadium, the entrance to the stadium looks one to one in my opinion. I think it looks amazing. This is the only image I was able to find of the outside of the stadium and I think it looks really good. And we also have some warehouses surrounding the stadium and also some parking spots as well. That's pretty much a given for any stadium. But I think the placement of these offices and warehouses are spot on in my opinion. And then to right field, we have this other entrance of the stadium. I think it's an entrance and I think this building looks pretty accurate to the one as you can see in the image and invisible from the field we have two warehouses and then beyond the left field fence we have a rail yard this is what it looks like from above home plate this is what it looks like from above center field 
and here's a bird's eye view. And that's pretty much going to wrap it up for the video today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, all the same information will be in the description as always. You can check it out for yourself. If you enjoyed the series and you want more, please consider liking and subscribing. If you have your own stadium you want me to look at, make sure to put your online ID and the name of the stadium in the comments below. And now be sure to check it out. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace. Well struck right field. And that ball is out of the year. It's 2-2.